This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in uh, Neumünster in, in Germany, yeah, and uh, at the supercharger, and we're gonna do 200 kilometers per hour range test. Yeah, let me just reset this one, and there we get going. So it might not be in optimal state now because we just finished charging, and you see that the battery is quite hot. Ideally, you want an AC charge, maybe. Another problem is that it's 5:30 in the morning on a weekday. So there might be too much traffic. I started a little bit late. I should have been here an hour ago. Yeah, 4.30 would have been way better. I see there, there is some traffic on the road right now. So um, just see how it is. Uh, this video might make it into production or it might not. <laughs> uh, but okay, so I did a similar test uh, four years ago, in 2019 with MC Hammer, my Tesla Model 3 Performance. And then at least that car went 133 kilometers and the consumption, well, the real consumption was actually 501 watt hour per kilometer, 460 <coughs> something on display. <coughs> so I just want to know how this one is, the, this is Model, I mean, it's Model S Plaid. So, uh, with bigger battery and newer technology, like heat pump. Back then, that one, uh, the Model 3 I tested back then, didn't have heat pump. So, yeah, I'm uh, eager to see what the performance will be with this plaid. So, but we just have to see now, have to get on the autobahn. So, there's a little bit of cool down now that we drive on the slow stretch, but we will try to cruise at 200. At least, let me see, I will go the south route first and then north outwards. So it's uh, mid of July right now, so there might be a lot of traffic. Let me see. Oh shit! Yeah, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, holy macaroni. Oh, there's also very little region right now. That is a lot of traffic. Shit. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do, do anything today. Now I have to maybe. Uh, do this on the way back instead. <coughs> we'll give it a shot at least. Okay. We try to cruise at 200. Okay, just increase the speed. So let me see now. So what the speed you see over here, that's GPS speed. Whereas the the speedo I have is slightly above it, so let's see. If I cruise at 204 on the speedo, that is 201, yeah. But unfortunately, uh, Tesla doesn't have any cruise control past, actually past 140 kilometers, no, past 150 kilometers per hour, no cruise control. Maybe just because of the way the radar went. Oh shit, there's some shake. Ah, the tires are not round anymore no but yeah this is also a problem i see when when i'm stationary there's some uh, the tires become a little bit shaky okay let me see if i can holy crap that shake man okay hopefully it goes away eventually but i have to try to maintain 200 kilometers per hour not sure how that's gonna work out today though might be a little bit slow down but I might compensate by going a little bit faster when I can but the shake is mad man it's just tires it seems like when you sit a little bit then uh, yeah, yeah yeah this usually happens yeah when you sit a little bit then the tires become unround until they heat up uh, and now we have sleepers in the left lane but this might be uh, the reality when you try to go schnell uh, almost uh, yeah like, even from the morning now until afternoon, evening hours, this would be a situation. So ideally, I want to do this at night. Just want to check now, is this Audi a sleeper? Kind of, yes, it is. With a bunch of other sleepers also. Yeah. So, um, wait, is the return bet? Nah, shit, it's going to be, it's just going to be worse now, I see. But we just have to see. Maybe it's just a little, uh, clog here once we get past these guys then it will become better 
But there are also plenty of uh, chargers on this route, so um, I don't have to worry too much about running on the juice at least. Left lane huggers, on the other hand, that's, uh, that's a bigger problem. Yeah, <laughs> like, you would not expect left lane huggers in Germany, right? Well, think again. Then I shouldn't over. I shouldn't. Um, yeah, I shouldn't undertake anyway, like I tend to do in Norway, because in Norway I just undertake and uh, no problem. But let's see. Let me pay attention to what's going on with the car at least. You see here, the battery is staying at thirty. Yeah, and then here, it's also cooling down the battery to maintain optimal temperature for better performance. So it will cool down when it can. And then, well, hmm, this is not going to work. It's way too slow, man. All these uh, sleepers. Come on, come on. If you could just go schnell, put it bit of shot, that'd be great. Yeah. Need to heat up the tires. This will go a little bit faster, but... Oh, shit. Oh, bridge, 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 bridge. Yeah, I'm not sure how comparable this is to uh, the, the, the clean uh, 200 kilometers per hour run. Come on, guys! Get out of the left lane! She Try to be good Germans now, huh? No? Oh, there could be, yeah. There could be non-Germans here, Danes and shit like that. But at least the, the Audi sleeper in front is, uh, well, German license plate. So, oh shit. And then, uh, by the time we finish in around 45 minutes, then uh, there will be even more traffic. <laughs> so. Okay, but uh, how about uh, you move over now? Huh? How about that? Oh shit, man, look at this. Okay, okay, I need to compensate this by going a little bit faster when I can now. Yeah. A, B, C, always be sleeping in the left lane, right? Come on, come on, Audi, you can move. Yes. Oh, I had to lift off a little bit. Okay, let's go. So I need to compensate by going a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, the car doesn't show any average speed, so, unfortunately. But let's see now, oh, sh 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 I'm slow. Uh, Regen could also be stronger. But of course, I'm just in normal driving mode now. I don't use any uh, track mode or drag strip mode or anything like that. Yeah, I know in track mode you can uh, unlock a higher region, but I don't feel, feel like using track mode on public roads. So, um, yeah, just people are trying to get to work now, right? You let the guy move over? No. The Bimmer boy? No. Okay, that's it. That's it. And so let's go a little bit faster. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I guess cruising at 200 kilometers per hour flat at night would be a little bit boring. That's why, okay, I could have done this lap around 2 at night last night, but Everything would just be dark. Uh, yeah, you can see the numbers, of course, but uh, that's why I figured out that, yeah, let's start in the morning instead. But then traffic happens. <laughs> she So, uh, yeah. But that's why we might uh, drive a little bit more yo-yo, so it's still fine. I think I should avoid the too hard acceleration because that introduces some significant losses. I measured it yesterday when I drove pretty hard yo-yo. Uh, I had 12% loss. <laughs> that was quite big, man. But I, I floored it. I, I used over a thousand horsepower many, many times. Uh, so yeah, then, uh, then stuff happens. <laughs> but at least today, oh shit! Come on, come on, Germans or whatever you guys are. Yeah, shit. Yeah, there's lots of sleepers, uh, people who want to get past it, people want to go to work, you know. But I'm still surprised that uh, the traffic flows so well on uh, three lanes in each direction. I mean, we are, after all, we're cruising at 150, 160 kilometers per hour here. This would not be the case in Norway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, let's try to maintain that 200 kilometers per hour, shall we? Yeah, some Danes in here. Just blame the Danes, yeah. 
why they can't keep uh, why the traffic is not flowing at over 200 in the leftmost lane but let's see now how is the battery temperature going yeah so we have around 50 degrees celsius in the battery so it's slowing down a little bit oh sorry it's cooling down a little bit it was at um almost 60 degrees earlier so it's cooling down because this is more like a uh, sleeper uh, traffic right now uh, the plaid is not even sweating seems like a northbound route has less traffic right now oh what the heck man yeah and this is more like um, i think more commuter traffic uh, not so much of a tra uh, holiday traffic the campers they are not out yet well except for the left lane campers uh, but okay um so what i want to see is how much loss do we have here because the model 3 had seven percent loss uh, what is this loss by the way uh, when you have higher load you will have more losses in uh, in the battery heat generated pretty much internal resistance in the battery and uh, uh, the trip meter will not measure this because how do you measure the heat lose loss right you don't uh, you don't so oh yeah freaking dane of course there's a dane camping in the left lane yeah that even rhymes but um uh, how do they measure uh, this uh, you know when you when you see the trip meter and uh, an energy consumption it's just a meter that con uh, measures how much you consume so but it, it can simply not measure the loss okay we have to compensate by going a little bit faster now that was the longest leap over ever So w when I look at trip meter versus uh, how much uh, the energy was actually spent, how much we, we spent or how much was lost, then I can calculate the losses. Uh, just like here, oh shit, I forgot, I need to look afterwards and calculate uh, how much we had. Well, and I remember we had almost 89 kilowatt hour, we had 88.8 .8 kilowatt hour when we started. And then we'll see, wait. Okay, you're gonna turn around in 10 kilometers. Well, let's see. Oh, shit. Note to self. <laughs> when I attempt to do these tests, always do them at night. Yeah, that's why I always do them at night, by the way, when it's pitch dark, but I could possibly wait until around at least three or four in the morning, but even then, yeah. Okay, so you just have to compensate again by going a little bit faster. But uh, I don't expect to be able to go fast too long before we have to slow down. So this is actually slightly worse because we're doing a little bit of yo-yoing rather than having constant speed. But at least when I accelerate, I don't use uh, full throttle because that will uh, generate m more heat than necessary. But actually this type of driving on the other hand, might me be a, a more realistic uh, scenario at least when you're driving in the daytime and then of course at night you can have more constant speed yeah so okay there you go come on come on, come on. but you can probably hear that uh, this is not the, the quietest car out there it's a bit noisy at high speed but at least it's better than uh, previous generation Teslas. I, <laughs> I remember uh, Optimus Prime, my Tesla Model X. That one was really noisy, man. Yeah, so... But uh, the Model X had uh, more uh, window space. So maybe that was the reason. But I think... <laughs> shit. I'll get stuck behind uh, Sleeper again. Or Camper. Yeah, let's see if the northbound route is better. It seems to be slightly better. And then I might, well, actually I'm still at 85%, wow. So it seems like now we are spending way less energy versus when I did uh, the more yo-yo hammer uh, VMAX uh, run. Okay, let's see. The yeah, average consumption is way too low, man. It should be higher. So let's just compensate by going a little bit faster. I guess you guys don't mind anyway going schnell but yeah <laughs> I know this with this plaid is that it can reach 200 kilometers per hour so effortless 
uh, of course now that I'm doing a test I will not hammer too hard but when I did the test yesterday I know oh, 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 oh. just let it regen now into this bit oh barely legal oh shit okay 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 so this is the section where there's a little bit of slowdown because of uh, speed limits and then we turn around so I want to use this one quick born uh, yeah funny name right uh, um, I could turn around further north but then the loop becomes shorter so but at least we will have uh, a long stretch where we uh, go oh shit them campers are out yeah well at least we can go pretty far before we have to turn around but also this is another thing like how realistic is this test because uh, how long stretches around germany do you actually have with unrestricted zone before there is some baustelle right yeah um well nowadays you can't drive that far before you run into baustelle or something or or speed limit so um we are actually creating almost an un unrealistic scenario okay i'm going um where we we try to drive uh, 200 non-stop well it's not non-stop but yeah so that's why i'm thinking okay there's some slowdown there's some turnaround but it is as realistic as possible because i'm pretty sure that today it's impossible to have a let's say um 100 150 kilometer stretch with no traffic uh, and it's totally unrestricted well unless you drive at night uh, someplace and yeah and then you drive one direction and you turn around because you remember that you forgot something or you hammer it to the airport and then deliver some people and then you drive back <laughs> okay <laughs> well right, let's see now hopefully this direction has slightly less traffic right yeah it seems like it i can feel it okay okay let me show you guys the brutal power it's not even it's not even flat i mean it's not even 100 percent acceleration it's like 50 percent throttle you can see on the power output you know maximum power output would be uh, around 800 kilowatts 770 kilowatts okay okay seems like we have a better run on the north loop but i will still go a little bit over 200 for a while to compensate for the loss. damn that's a freaking fast van holy crap how can you even go that fast man that that is a true german that is a true german is is not camping in the left lane like i do yeah wow i didn't even know that a freaking mercedes van can go that fast did you modify your van you must must have done it <laughs> shit man what the heck is this machine okay anyway we see now we, we need to burn some juice well, Achtung, Achtung. Okay. so what is it? consumption 370 oh, okay okay we're getting somewhere oh shit, shit, shit. but yeah maybe if i did it at night it would be also kind of boring but then there's nothing uh, the road would be empty so at least there is some stuff you guys can look at right now <laughs> yeah maybe you should uh, leave me a comment which one you prefer because if you if you watch, ever watch the previous ones i've done that was done in the stretch from rada to uh, to um, uh, busdorf and back again uh, it was done at night also three lanes in each direction but um, it was dark pitch dark so uh, you didn't, didn't really see anything except for uh, three lanes and some yeah stuff but wait shit man those sleepers those campers they are everywhere scheisse okay let's go okay uh, i just uh, i'm a little bit gentle on the accelerator you know crazy what well, what's crazy is that when i'm just giving it half power uh, one, uh, a third uh, pedal that's usually full power on a fossil <laughs> or other uh, not so fast uh, electric cars okay let's see maybe i just hit morning traffic earlier so we just cruise now uh yeah and then uh, should i keep changing lane all the time well i mean i did that 
in uh, one of the other videos and then some people complain oh Bjorn is, is dangerous you keep changing your lane yeah you see a true German be like this oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah hello hello he's coming yeah you know this is a uh, true German be like this you, you, yeah actually you're supposed to use all lanes even if you're going 200 250 kilometers per hour you're supposed to drive like this as a true German and by the way now it makes perfect sense that the turn signal is on the steering wheel I, I use the yoke wheel by the way suddenly it makes perfect sense because I don't have to move my hand away from uh, the steering wheel and also the the yoke is fairly forward now right? I mean we, just, we we have tiny movements only so it makes sense now except for when I need to uh, park or maneuver around roundabouts then suddenly the yoke becomes a joke but I would wish that we will have stocks plus button on the steering wheel that would be perfect man that would be perfect really but okay oh, shit, shit, shit. the van is going on yeah okay maybe I need to uh, uh, show my presence oh shit, no okay <coughs> there we go okay okay let's go oh shit there, there might be a little bit of rain yeah that was also something uh, earlier this morning uh, there was some rain I was like shit it's really hard to time everything to avoid rain to avoid traffic and uh, not be uh, too dark okay uh, are we getting some okay consumption numbers now 383 watt hour per kilometer okay so that's higher than model 3 no 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 wait 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 model 3 was 460 oh shit uh why was it so high hmm wait was it really 460 i need to look at the numbers again uh, after i uh, finish uh, the the run now but uh, oh shit ah oh, shit you're freaking screen sleeper holy crap man well it's 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 vacation after all yeah the model 3 was in fact 460 watt hour per kilometer wait shit move peter john move no no shit yes yes what what the, what the, was he doing in the left lane anyway man <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know what goes in the tiny brains of the the germans <laughs> oh shit okay but um yeah what the heck why was the mc hammer so thirsty 460 really uh okay but you know the drag coefficient on this plaid has been improved versus the model uh well or palladium rather but versus the model uh oh shit, 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 there's 93 so maybe we have better drag coefficient than uh, than the model three uh, but then you know cd is just one one of the components you have to look at cda right so but id3 is maxed as it's capped at 160 kilometers per hour anyway well we'll see maybe we maybe this plot is more efficient than model three but also the model three had no heat pump back then but does it matter okay there is plenty of heat uh, wasted but uh yeah that's a norwegian by the way okay it's wise need but we'll see maybe i just i, I drove too slow yeah, yeah that's probably i i was not able to hammer at 200 kilometers per hour until now so um oh shit seems like on the way back we have to slow poke again behind campers sleepers not sure what should we call them sleepers campers left lane huggers <laughs> yeah okay what is the temperature oh okay this is what i wanted to see you see here the temperature today oh this is completely different the battery temperature is way lower now versus when i uh floor it with full power then uh, and also when I went Vmax or about 230 kilometers per hour rep repeatedly well should I flash I should flash a couple times yeah I, I think the problem is that I mean flash supposedly flashing like that is not pushing it it's more like uh, 
more like uh, reminding the guys in front that Achtung, Achtung is commercial, right? Uh, they might not uh, be able to detect that we are approaching fast. Uh, or some people have the sense, I've seen it. Some people move out of the way or they, they try to change lane and look in the mirror and then they cancel the lane change. So maybe there's some skill that some people uh, develop. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yesterday I hit over 60 degrees Celsius in the battery pack. Now you see when we're cruising at only 200 kilometers per hour, then it's way better. And this is exactly what I wanted to test because, okay, I mean, wh how many people drive yo-yo like I did yesterday? Well, it's a lot of fun, of course, but when you just want to get fast from A to B, you cruise at 200 kilometers per hour like I do, right? When, when the traffic allows you to, uh, which means that this is actually a more realistic scenario than yesterday when I tested the yo-yo run. Uh, and then, because when you look at yesterday's video, it'll be like, oh no, uh, Tesla suck, uh, electric cars suck because they can't maintain speed. Well, like, when you push it like that, yes, okay, for in a track, yeah, but at least on the Autobahn, when you just want to go schnell like now, then no problem, you can maintain speed. And I also have plenty of power yeah, you can see here that I don't want to do it, but I can. I have the. I have 1,000 horsepower if I want to. But most of the time, I'm just using a fraction of it, one tenth of the power, or or something like that. So um, it seems like uh, as every generation comes out in Tesla, then uh, it becomes better and better. They have better cooling so that it can, you can maintain speed without any, uh, any um, power limits. Because if I did this with my Model S P85 from 2013, I think I would struggle to maintain 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, well, actually, especially because that battery is getting old, so there's some, there some limitations that start coming earlier, versus when I had the car 10 years ago, the limitations were not there so this is of course a downside with batteries that degrades or ages um, you can of course upgrade the battery then no problem and the same actually with yesterday's run is that I noticed that the limitation was in the battery not in the motors the motors they are fine man look here I, I think this one is correct 58 degrees Celsius uh, front state attempt so it the, the motors are just sleeping now they they work at really low load, uh, not much stress at all. Oh shit, on the way back, oh shit. <laughs> okay, that's the problem. On the way back, we have to uh, get stuck behind a bunch of left lane huggers. <laughs> wow, this van is also going pretty fast. About uh, 190 kilometers per hour, maybe. Oh, that's a Kia EV6. Let me see, is it registered in Deutschland? Yeah, Deutsch. All right. So uh, I have marked uh, a north and a south uh, turnaround point on the map, on the navigation. So I know where to exit because uh, these places look kind of familiar, I mean unfamiliar to me. So there, okay. And now I just have to set, go back to the south, towards the south point again. At least this turnaround point here does not have a slowdown. You can just go all full speed all the way. Except for that, uh, you want to slow down a little bit before. <laughs> like you can't, you can't do 200 kilometers per hour, and then suddenly slow down 500 meter before and uh, exit. So you, I usually slow down about two kilometers before, uh, and also region. But let's see now. Oh man, oh this is such a, such a pleasure. Uh, you know, if I ever get kicked out of Norway one day, like uh, they, they ban me because I've been a bad boy, then uh, Germany might be <laughs> the first choice. Uh, because I'm not convinced I, would, I should move to Thailand permanently. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, Thailand is a nice country you want to uh, visit, maybe go on vacation, but I don't think it's a nice country to live in permanently. I probably, I wouldn't mind staying there for, let's say, uh, uh, three months, maybe even longer, uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, now we need to exit soon, so you see, 
uh, exit coming in 1.7 kilometers, okay. Um, 1.5, it goes schnell now, okay. Uh, should I go behind that guy? Yeah, let's go behind this guy. Okay, now you just want to regen. But regen actually introduces some, some extra heat into the system. <coughs> oh, shit. It, okay, let's go in front of this uh, truckers, okay, and then get ready. Wow, 380, and now we're cooking, 380 watt hour. Oh, you see here? I wish the region was stronger in Tesla. And if I press brake now, you see that there's no blending brake going on. So it's, it's still limited to around 90 kilowatts. Um, for example, Kia EV6 I tested, the one we just passed, that one goes as high as 300 uh, kilowatts. So I still wonder why Tesla doesn't have higher region. Okay, Achtung, Achtung, okay, go, go, go. Okay, and then we go over here. And then we go back, 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 back. <coughs> and then, okay, there's LED light. Um, but, wow, listen. You can, hear the, you can hear the birds chirping. The fans on it not even running that high. What? This is so different from the, you know, Optimus Prime. My previous Tesla Model X P90D Ludicrous. Okay, that's a Model X, it's a way bigger car, but it's earlier generation, it's from 2016. When I did 200 kilometers per hour, I remember that the car was getting a little bit exhausted. Uh, it was running the fans, you know? Oh shit, I don't want to cut in front of this Mercedes, but uh, I know I want to go faster. So I have to wait, oh shit, there's a freaking Dane also. Man, the Danes, uh, they lack lane discipline. Uh, let me show you what I mean. You see? You see what I mean? And now there's a there's a and an Audi coming from behind. Oh shit! Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Maybe I should have cut in front of the Dane because he's a sleeper. No, come on. Yes. Okay. Let me just use half throttle. <laughs> the Audi dis disappeared behind me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Now we have to deal with this direction, which seems to be bad. So uh, maybe I should just overcompensate by going a little bit faster now. Uh, 32. Okay. Let me check here. Average, well, okay. Average speed also includes a slow stretch before we enter this one. So. Uh, that's why the average speed appears to be lower right now. Uh, let me check distance here. Yeah, we have done 87 kilometers. What? what? Really? Hmm. Seems like we should be able to go uh, further than the... Oh, no, 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 freaking Tesla! Oh, okay, you see, you see? He, he noticed that in t just in time that there was coming something coming fast. That was actually a Dane. So I'm not saying that every Dane is bad. No, 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 I'm gonna get so many hate comments now, but I'm just saying that um, uh, in general, it seems like uh, the Germans, they are better at uh, lane discipline than uh, Danes. And then, of course, Norwegians, they are worse than all the other guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, all right. Um, what else is going on? Yeah, but the battery is actually, cooling down right now <laughs> i see an inlet inlet is 34 degrees so what that means is that uh, it probably passes through the radiator maybe even the, the i'm not sure if it passes through the yeah i think it also uses uh, ac to cool down the battery enough to anticipate more uh, power uh, something right uh, and also uh, 48 degrees uh, around 40 yeah, around 40 degrees is, uh, is okay. You still get maximum power output at 40 degrees. But one, once it dips below 30, or I mean around 30, then... Oh, the, the sleeper! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, Helga, come on! There's a bunch of people in there. They're just... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, Takasha, Takasha. But, yeah. So once 
Uh, also, since I'm using um, uh, also, since I'm using plaid mode, then the car has been pre-designed to keep the battery at higher temperature and also cool down more aggressively. Well, yeah. So, and of course, when they drive like this, yeah, you want to use uh, plaid mode. Well, I mean, I could use other modes. Uh, it will still be fine, but uh, yeah. For this kind of dr driving style, I prefer using plaid mode. Well, it's mostly if you use the, the standard or sport or whatever it's called, I don't remember. Uh, then uh, it will try to conserve energy. It will even yeah, it will, it will scavenge heat to try to uh, save uh, save energy. But in plaid mode, it will keep the battery at higher temperature, which wastes some energy, but uh, you get better performance. Okay, I was just lifting up a little bit there just to anticipate there might be some uh, cutting in front or people not paying attention, so I have to pay attention. Look at this sleeper! Oh, just, just not the sleeper! Okay, uh, no, I, I'm not gonna flash. Uh, they probably know uh, I'm coming from behind, right? That's an E up. No, sorry, it's an up. Regular up, I think. No, 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 sorry, it's, uh, it's uh, Citigo, me! Yeah, yeah, okay, Skoda Citigo. Oh, maybe I should just camp in the left lane. Yeah, maybe I'll camp in the left lane. So, uh, there's like a signal that, okay, uh, some dude camping in the left lane, uh, there's a possibility that he's going schnell, right? Yeah, it seems like it was just bad luck in the beginning. I was stuck behind those campers. Now we, the tra traffic flows way better. And then 394, well, we are still way below uh, the consumption of the Tesla. But, oh, oh, the other Tesla, I mean, the Model 3. But you know, I think the Model 3 ran at colder temperatures. Yeah, that's possible. That's a possibility. We have 19 degrees Celsius now, which is okay temperature. This also means that uh, this is also uh, like a heat, well, no, hot-ish, yeah, stress test, <laughs> where you see that, okay, 19 degrees, unfortunately, we will not be able to hit uh, 35 degrees, but um, it doesn't overheat at all at these temperatures. Uh, the problem is that if you want to hit 30 or 35 degrees Celsius, that usually happens during the daytime. And during the daytime, you will most likely not be able to go that fast because there will be campers in the left lane. So, yeah, that, that's the thing you have to also consider when, when, you, know, when you think about different scenarios that, uh, like, uh, many, many things, they, they depend on each other, so that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, anyway, I'll, I'll just shut up now <laughs> and enjoy the ride. But uh, it seems like once we uh, started driving a little bit, then the shake uh, partly disappeared, but it's not completely gone for the camera, but it was usually the highest once you started driving initially. So, um, yeah, so far so good. And I, I'm actually surprised that uh, it's six in the morning and I'm able to cruise at 200 kilometers per hour in the leftmost lane here. But I picked the right spot because uh, many other spots, uh, even though you have unrestricted zone, it, it's impossible to drive fast. And even this lane, I mean, this stretch here, oh, good, good. would be impossible to drive fast in just uh, three, four hours because of uh, holiday traffic. But yeah, so um, let's see how far can we actually drive at 200. Also, it's always funny, man, the haters, the EV haters. Uh, I do this test just, just for fun, just to figure out how far we can drive. And then people will be like, oh shit, you can only drive uh, the 150 kilometers per hour. Oh, boo, 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 you know, but yeah, but how, how many places in the world can you actually cruise at 200 kilometers per hour and empty out the battery that fast, right? So in a way, it's almost a corner case uh, here. But I like to test it to, to the extreme to see what the cars are capable of doing. You know, eventually we should start testing other brands also, not only Tesla. Actually, in the past, I've been only been able to test Tesla and um, it was the BMW i4 M50. Okay, well, you, you guys need to move over. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So I would like to test Mercedes because I think Mercedes, EQS, oh yeah, I need to test EQS. EQS has also 0.2 drag coefficient, but uh, yeah, maybe fat tires. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. She, you see, this is, oh man, oh, man. oh no, oh no, 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 you didn't use the mirror. Oh, she, uh, bad German, bad German. Okay, just kidding. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Was an old chap, right? He might not have the best eyesight, the ninja reflexes and the skills. But, um, what, 40 minutes in? Okay, so Model 3 managed to go 133 kilometers. Well, it was a little bit of uh, margin. I don't remember how I calculated it, but I, I saw on the trip meter it was 133. I can, you, you can extrapolate the, the remaining, but maybe you don't want to go too deep anyway when you go schnell like that. So, um, um, but let's see now. We already done 112 kilometers and we still have 45% battery left. Oh, I'll have to slow down again. Uh, oh, okay, we are getting close to the turnaround point where we have to slow down for speed limit soon. But we can still go schnell. Yeah, okay, okay. Why there's a skull in the left lane? Oh, 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 oh. Quickborn, yeah, turnaround point at Quickborn. Yeah, seems like there's some resonance uh, frequencies here because if I go a little bit slower, like now, then. Uh, wait, wait, move, 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 please. No, or oh, don't move. Okay, don't move. Right, okay, whatever. Man. Yeah, but uh, once you hit around 200 kilometers per hour, then it seems like there is less vibration. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let me see. Uh, I also have to figure out where I'm supposed to stop, but uh, no concern because uh, oh yeah, yeah, I see. Seems like uh, the closer to uh, Hamburg we get, the more traffic we have, and the more left lane huggers we have. Um, there is a, a supercharger f around here. Where we, ju we just passed it, uh, Kalten Kitchen, and then the north one where the, we were started from. That's another supercharger, and then we also have some. Uh, so my unit is in between here. So um, yeah, I'll figure out. Uh, I'll try to stop at one of the uh, superchargers, of course, because uh, I'm trying to burn some uh, free supercharging kilometers. I have 2.1 million uh, supercharger kilometers left. So oh shit! Now we oh shit! Okay, now we're stuck behind a bunch of uh, traffic here. So this, of course, will uh, uh, make the numbers better. Uh, I mean, lower lower consumption. Well, heat seems to not be a problem. So we can just uh, forget about the heat problem, at least. Well, okay. Um, oh, shit. Maybe it's a bad idea to turn around at Quickborn. Oh, shit. What was that? Some debris, some littering. I think it was a glass. Oh, sorry. It was a plastic uh, uh, cup someone littered but um, maybe I should actually turn around earlier yeah I, I should do uh, here I could even turn on here whoa, whoa, whoa that's a bit uh, late now yeah it's oh shit okay yeah that's way too late to uh... okay let's just uh, go a little bit further so yeah it, it will never be uh, like a strictly uh, 200 kilometers per hour run um, you can't get a clean run anyway, right? Well, unless you do it at night. But okay, I should try to use the middle lane while I can. Right? Okay, trying to be a good German here. Well, a true German would be like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then stay here two seconds, and then oh, oh, oh back. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right, but um. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay, another thing, you know, another thing I should do is, actually, I haven't uh, had the opportunity to do it, but I should do, let's say, 150 kilometers per hour run. Uh, normally, I don't do that for obvious reasons, because uh, you can't go to 150 uh, many places in the world. Uh, 
or some people might do that anyway in other countries, right? Like France, uh, uh, Poland, uh, or Bulgaria, or I don't know. But um, uh, it would be interesting to test that also because uh, you will see that when you cruise at 150 kilometers per hour and then it's a completely diff oh shit what the heck is this oh oh oh, oh you wanna unfall 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 it's gonna be a stau soon there's a mother trucker oh scheiße smoke on the water Du, 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 du. No, but uh, I can see what's gonna happen now. Uh, there might be some rescue stuff coming and then they will block one lane. Oh shit, in the morning traffic. There will be stau all over the place, man. So we have to uh, turn around earlier. So yeah, I guess that's um, the name of the game. <laughs> yeah. And then we are coming over to the speed limit soon. Yeah, here, here. So now we need to slow down. Okay, I'll get over to uh, the middle lane. Slow down here. All right. Um, feels like uh, okay. Maybe uh, yeah, okay. I'll go behind this van. He will also exit. <coughs> okay, but um, but uh, you see, yeah. When we go the extreme speeds, like yesterday when I hammered it, you know, 230 kilometers per hour and, and beyond, then unfortunately electric cars today, they uh, they seem to have quite significant heat loss. Well, I'm going to drink some water here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> yeah. Oh, what was I? Okay, I'm saying that. <coughs> yeah, when you go at 230, right, or something, then there is massive heat loss. Uh, seems like the batteries today, today's batteries, yeah, they um, they they haven't developed that far yet, so um, there is um, uh, or it's inefficient to drive at those speeds. That's what I'm saying. Uh, fossil cars, they don't have those disadvantages because uh, you just go schnell and uh, no problem, right? Uh, but 200 kilometers per hour seems to be way better at least now with this car. But if you just look at, uh, for example, Millennium Falcon, 10-year-old Tesla, 200 kilometers per hour on that car, which is less aerodynamic, has a, a worse battery tech, smaller battery, then 200 would be bad for that one. Like 200 on that one, I assume, would be like this one cruising at uh, 230, right? If you know what I mean. Uh, but my point is that if you cruise at only 150 kilometers per hour, then the situation becomes way better. And you can probably go quite far. So, uh, if I had the time, wait, well, maybe I should do it. But then uh, that's gonna be a way too long video. But yeah, if I had the time, I should definitely do it. Just to prove a point that Today's electric cars, <coughs> they can go quite fast. You can cruise on the motorway, for example, at 150 kilometers per hour constantly, and you will not have power limit, and you will not have significant losses, and you can probably, like this Tesla here, can probably go, uh, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe at least uh, 250 kilometers. Yeah, and of course, this, this guy, he refuses to move because uh, he thinks he's faster than a Tesla. Yeah, okay, now he moves now, okay. <laughs> no, he just, you know, he didn't think anything. He was just, uh, he just wanted to scalabalia, scalabalia. Just wanted to overtake one more car. Okay, one more car, right? You know, that's, that's what they do. Oh, that's what they always do. You see here, mid lane hugger, and then this guy needs to move over to the leftmost lane. So it would be great if uh, the Germans would not hug the middle lane. Okay, now that we have gone a bit slow in the past, then I need to compensate by going a little bit faster. And also I have to avoid that truck we saw, so I have to turn around earlier. Oh, okay. Well, I might need to turn around earlier anyway, because I'm running a little bit low on juice now. But also this is a part of the test to see what happens once we go lower, because 
Uh, then uh, current needs to go up because voltage drops a little bit. But also you see that the Palladium has higher voltage than uh, the previous generation uh, Raven or uh, before that one. And uh, higher voltage means, uh, um, yeah, less, slightly less losses. So, you know, we talk about 800 volt system being so awesome because you need less current. Well, uh, it doesn't have to be black and white, you know. Uh, you can even go higher voltage like this. Oh shit! Move, 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 move. Yes, like in a Dane man. Oh. He had too much luggage. He couldn't see uh, behind what was going behind him, so I had to help him. And then went back to the left lane after I passed him. <laughs> uh. But um, yeah, so so uh, you see the voltage here is 389 right now here. Yeah, well, it depends on load. But uh, some other cars might have uh, as low as 350 or even lower. Especially, yeah, especially when you had those, you know, like 85 pack in Tesla. And then, or in general, when you have uh, a big pack from, uh, from uh, in the model, and then you have a smaller pack, what they usually do is they remove some modules and then many, many times those smaller packs, they have a lower voltage than the, the, the bigger pack, uh, which is a slight disadvantage uh, in my opinion. Uh, but maybe that's just how it is. Uh, if they would redesign it to have higher voltage or the same voltage, maybe then how did they do it then? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, this Volvo is actually going quite fast. I wonder what the consumption is. Well, it's an XC40. Oh wait, is it re? No. Charge port is on the side. That's that's uh, that's a plug-in hybrid. If the charge port is in the back, then that's a pure electric. Okay, but anyway, uh, now we're just gonna head to the northmost point again, and then I'll figure out what where to stop and charge. So um, yeah, wow, 140 kilometers so far. Okay, we beat the old record at least. <laughs> but you see, okay, so. If I had the opportunity, and if if this video gets lots of views, maybe I should test the uh, EQS because EQS has a bigger battery. It has good drag coefficient. Uh, can it go uh, further than the Tesla? Hmm? Or farther? I think it's called farther. Yeah, far, farther. Yeah. Oh shit! shit, 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 shit. Camper, camper, come on! No shit! Are you planning on camp? Oh shit! And. It Okay, you see, I'm flooring it now. 250 kilowatt power only. Yeah, at the, at the bottom, it this is the, the reality. Oh shit, I have to get ready to exit now. Okay, okay. Yeah, six percent. I think that's uh, that's good enough. We uh, we can call it a day. Well, well, uh, uh, still 1.7 kilometers left. Let's go past these guys. All right. And then here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get over to the middle lane. Get ready to exit. So yeah, um, these tests are always hard to get it right. You know, you have to get the right uh, traffic. You have to get uh, the right weather. You know, like, uh, uh, and of course, avoid any Baustelle or, or any accident events. You know, so. Because I'm also thinking about discarding this test, but I, I, I'll probably keep it um, since it's it's so hard to get it right. <laughs> and also, also I, I like that we do this in the daytime so we can at least see something other than just uh, dark roads and just a bunch of light all over the place. So yeah, now I can hear the fans going a little bit, but it's not that uh, hard or that high. And okay, uh, okay, I have power limit, but it's still really fun. I can show you here. You see, oof, it goes like a rocket. <laughs> oh shit! So yeah, yeah, because now that we let the battery uh, cool, uh, uh, rest a little bit, then you see that we have 300 kilowatt power, and that's a lot of power. I'm supposed to go here. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm being a bad uh, driver. <laughs> I'm not paying attention because this is, the, this is actually the second time I'm here. So I'm not too familiar around here. Yeah, my, my excuse. I could be a, an F1 driver. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then over here we have the supercharger. Let's see. <coughs> oh, a Lego. Ah, oh, yeah. So I have to crunch some numbers. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's get a spot first. Oh, ooh, it's kind of busy here. Okay. Okay. Let me just take this one. Yeah, I, I for some reason like to back up into the charger like this. All right. And that completes the test. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I plug in. Okay, there. Before I plug in, I have to write down here. So. We started with, um, from what I remember, uh, I need to correct if I am right or wrong, 88.8 .8 kilowatt hour. Uh, and then we ended up with, um, you can see here, 5.6 kilowatt hour. But the car reported using 77.1 kilowatt hour. Yeah, and we drove 203 kilometers. Wow, impressive. Okay. Um, so uh, I think we have all the numbers we need. Uh, let's uh, plug it in. Just want to see how fast do we charge. Because this was also the case. Oh shit, no, and then, then it bugs out. Yeah, sometimes the data overflows and then this happens. Um, when I did the the yo-yo test or you know the the high speed test, uh, the battery was so hot that it actually rapid gated. After I shut down the video, I saw that it was charging slower than usual. So uh, yeah, now we just have to wait a little bit until the car, uh, oh, sorry, until the um, um, car scanner uh, refreshes the data. But we want to see how fast we charge now. Yeah, it has that slowdown. You see here, um, it goes a little bit slow in the beginning, as usual. And then we should hit 250 kilowatt. But this this time, though, we will not have any uh, um, any rapid gate. But I will crunch some numbers now while we're waiting for that one. Uh, let me see. Uh, so 88.8 .8 minus 5.6. So we spent 83.2 kilowatt hour. versus um, 77.1 oh so that's interesting that's seven percent loss roughly yeah hmm okay that's the same as the model 3 had but way less than when i hammered hard that was 12 percent loss so um yeah and that means that uh uh, well, the, the consumption was 380 reported by a car scanner and I can calculate uh, the actual uh, consumption uh, we just we just look at uh, 88 point oh, yeah we look at uh, 83.2 kilowatt hour which we actually spent was divided by 203 kilometers and then so the the actual consumption was 410 watt hour per kilometer So yeah, I mean it's lower than the Model Three run, but uh, I have to look at the data. I think the Model Three run was colder; it was at, at night. So it would be interesting to try another car uh, if you guys are up for it. Oh, there we go. Now, now we have two hundred fifty kilowatt, and it should have uh, it should be two hundred fifty kilowatt flat now until uh, around twenty five percent at least. Um, but uh, it would be interesting to try this with EQS. Or, yeah, with EQS, I would look at percentage. Since I don't have any uh, car scanner stuff working with EQS, I would look at how many percent we spend, and then I base, based on the percent, I will know roughly how many uh, kilowatt hour we spend, actual kilowatt hour, versus what the car reports. And so we can also uh, calculate loss, like heat loss, right, because of high speed. So, but it depends uh, how much views it gets because taking an EQS over here, uh, that takes some time, man. 
Um, uh, I actually wanted to take an EQS here. There was the EQS Formatic Plus, uh, the 43 or whatever, 53, I think it was called. The beefy EQS with uh, over almost 700 horsepower. Or was it more? I don't remember. Uh, but it had winter tires on. It was in, I think it was in March when I had that EQS. So, uh, yeah, didn't feel like it. But um, if you guys are interested, I could uh, consider doing it with a non Tesla to see how they perform, right? Well, okay, anyway, um, now we've seen it. You see this one, it just uh, stays flat. And uh, I think we're done with the test. So, uh, what should I conclude with? Um, yeah, uh, conclusion is that um, a Tesla performs well. You can cruise at 200 kilometers per hour. We were just limited by traffic. But even if, okay, you could say, yeah, uh, you had some cool down uh, because traffic went slower. Yeah, but we saw on the temperature here that uh, it, <laughs> it was not affected at all. When I hammered it versus when I was stuck behind left lane sleepers, it was the same. Uh, the car could perform all the way until the very end. Okay, when we had 10%, 20% left, then uh, there was some uh, power limit. But uh, other than that, the car was uh, flawless. No uh, no power limit, no power gate or stuff like that. Uh, yeah, uh, because that was actually not the case with the BMW i4 M50. But uh, I think even for that car, I even tried to cruise at 200 kilometers per hour. I went a little bit over sometimes, but I didn't do that crazy hammering. But the, M the i4 M50 did, in fact, overheat and uh, you didn't get the, the 544 horsepower. Uh, it was limited to around, f I don't remember, maybe around 400 something horsepower. Yeah, yeah now uh, the cooling starts. Uh, but at least for Plaid, uh, no problem. So uh, it would also be interesting to try, for example, the latest and greatest Model 3 performance, which is more affordable, to see how that one performs. Will it get any power limits or not? But okay, I um, would like to get some feedback from you guys, what you are interested, and then I will consider what to do versus how much time it takes, because it's really time consuming to come over here. I usually need around two full days if I want to conduct some tests around here. But okay, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.